What's up, guys? Nick Pelleggi here. It's Saturday. It's a nice 45-degree uh, day. It's supposed to be in the 50s later on. I'm out here at the truck. I'm going to start tearing this motor apart. I'm going to wait until EJ's around to tear the transmission apart, because that's going to be a learning experience for both of us. Right now, he's at work, so I'll be tearing the motor apart. Just um, take a look at it, clean it up. We're not doing anything special with it. We'll put a $60 Summit cam in it. Uh, I think that's pretty much about it. A new gaskets, new seals. Uh, first things first is I'm gonna take off this engine stand plate because it, I had to take the flex plate off. And then I have to get this header off. It's gotta come off at some point. Oh, I forgot a spark plug. I didn't realize that. So. I've got a fun day ahead of myself here. Oh, it's all slimy. Get started. I'll update as I go. All right, so I just got, um, finally got that header torn off. I had to run back to the house for a couple tools, but uh, it's all good. I gotta say, this engine's pretty darn clean. They definitely changed their oil in this thing. And like I said, the en as you've seen in the videos, the engine runs pretty good. We're just, uh, we're just cleaning it up, that's all we're doing. I'm throwing a small cam in it. At least some part of this truck doesn't need that much work. are off. I'm not sure what to make of this. Some of these exhaust valves are stark white. I have no idea why that, what that means. I'll have to look that up. Head gaskets uh, look fine. Obviously we're putting new ones in though. As far as I know, it didn't burn any oil or coolant, but we only knew it for a day. Pistons are, uh, they're kind of old. We're putting, we're probably putting new ones in. I guess I want to get flat top pistons, but it's not my money. They're only 80 bucks though from Summit. Yeah, I, I may have introduced some dirt. It's all right though, it's all coming apart anyway. Once again though, I am very impressed by how clean this engine is. And this can't be the original valve train. Somebody must have been in here at some point. Because there's no way that this stuff is 40 years old. It's way too clean. So I somehow managed to get this thing on the hoist by myself. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pull the uh, balancer off. Take the cover off here. 
which to do that I have to loosen the oil pan bolts to drop the oil pan down like an inch or so to get this off. And then we'll go ahead and pull the cam out. I got all the lifters out as you saw before. Yeah, scope progress is coming along nicely. Got that off. This is a pain in the ass. It feels about normal. Once again, pretty clean. I get that oil pan off in a while, I gotta drain the oil still. Though I somehow managed to get it onto the stand too, using uh, by placing down blocks of wood. Just drain the cool um, oil and put leftover coolant. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, take a take apart the rest of the short block. Again, not bad at all. Very impressive. This is a 40 year old engine. Not bad. So I've got everything packed up for the day. It's down to the bare block, so I'm about done. So I'll catch you guys. attempt a second gear burnout. Nope. Oh no, we have to push start it again. <laughs> Damn it. Alright, you're the lighter one. <laughs> the starter's shot, that's why we're doing this. At least it's flat ground. Ready? Yep. Oh, dude, needs wipers. <laughs> 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 